Hey everybody, it's Easter Sunday and uh, once again we're here by ourselves. We live so far down here in the boonies we don't ever get to see anybody. So we got the dog and we're going to go out and take a ride. I thought I'd take you guys along with us, show you a little bit of stuff around here. But uh, yeah, enjoy the ride. I hope you guys had a good weekend. This small town that I live in is known to be the pottery capital of the Midwest. It's home of the Hall Pottery Factory uh, and Museum. Uh, their pottery is sought after by collectors worldwide. Uh, there is still a small portion of the factory in operation uh, with very limited production. Uh, there's also Beaumont Pottery in this area as well. Uh, it's accompanied by a large museum. The museum is seasonal. It's only open uh, for about four months during the summer. But they do have a pottery festival every year where uh, collectors bring their wares from all over the world. I'll make sure you guys get a come. This is the old state penitentiary. It's closed down now, uh, but it's kind of spooky. Looks like something out of a movie. And so here we are in an old mining town that was closed down. Uh, this was called Santoy, Ohio. This was a booming town uh, back in the late 1800s, early 1900s. It was a huge mining town. There were several hospitals, and, uh, or not several hospitals, but several bars, a hospital, and this was the old jail. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, legendary stories about this place, but we'll take a walk around here and I'll show you some of the old foundations and stuff and what exists of the, uh, the town of Santoy, Ohio. This wouldn't be a fun jail to be in, I don't think. These old foundations are, they go for about a mile just up through the woods uh, where the, the forest is kind of taking it over. But there are several of these old foundations of what used to be the town. Now there's several blogs written about this. I've actually got one on my blog site. Uh, but I just thought you guys might enjoy seeing this. I'm told this is the old foundation to one of the restaurants that used to be here. And there's the foundation to one of the old hotels across the road. We'll take a walk over there and check it out. Now I'm told this is part of the old hospital uh, that was here. A lot of people were hurt in the mind and there was even rumors that there were lots of bar fights. Uh, almost every night <laughs> a bar fight. I guess that's why they had to have the jail. And another old foundation. These just go from uh, about a mile up through here. The front steps that went into some place. And we have more foundations. So as you can tell, it was a it was more than a small town. It was a booming, a booming area. A 
I've always wanted to come out here with a treasure finder and walk around in these woods, although I'm sure it's probably already been done, but I just wonder what a person could find uh, uh, buried under the soil. This is an entrance to one of the old coal mines that uh, was here. There are several of these along this hillside. And just as we were getting ready to leave here, the wife reminded me that her father was born in the hospital here in 1902. Now you know you're in the boonies when uh, the oil wells are painted like beer cans. Redneck country, brother. Well, that's about it. We're going to take the dog to the park and play a while and leave you with that. There's just nothing more I love than taking a ride on these old county roads uh, on a Sunday afternoon. It's just a great way of killing the day and you never know what you find. Hope you guys all had a great Easter and uh, peace out. Heart blue man, feel a little flower blue.